Hello, this is Cleantech Business TV for Solar Business Club from Brazil. And you know, from the battlefield for distributed generation here in Brazil. And we are together with uh, Lucas Troia, who is a business development director for CITES Solar, but also in our Solar Business Club, he's the most important guy for all international relationships. So, Lucas, uh, hello, uh, bom dia. Bom dia, hello Thomas, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. Tudo bem, tudo bem, tudo bem? Tudo bem. Congrats for your Portuguese, it's getting better. So if uh, everybody, you know, has like uh, zooming, so you can see this is the whole, what's happening actually in Brazil. But uh, Lucas, can you tell us in a few words actually, what's happening now in Brazil in terms of uh, distributed generation? Because uh, we just saw, you know, this, you know, small graph on which in 2012, there was just seven installations in the country with 400 kilowatt. And this year, apparently it will be 1.6 gigawatt and 120,000 installations, yes? That's the number. So the market started in 2012 with the resolution from Maneo, uh, 482 from 2012. And the market is, has been growing uh, fast by even more uh, each year. And uh, by 2015, the market really speed up mm -hmm. with the energy costs going up and uh, the costs of the systems, of the, the equipments going down. Mm -hmm. So the payback, which used to be 12 years, nowadays around three or five years, depending on the, the cost. So amazing energy. business, yeah? Yes, amazing business. The return on investment, very, very good one as well. And the market is growing, but it's still just the beginning. We have like 1.6 gigawatts of GD, and this is just 0.3% of the whole uh, energy matrix in Brazil. So it's too small, we have a bright future. Because it's uh, 100,000 installations, and there is potential of 80 million, yeah? 80 million, that's the total uh, mm -hmm. of uh, consumers, uh, consumers in, in Brazil. So 120 is just the beginning, we cannot stop this market, we need to move forward and keep go growing, generating jobs, generating like growing for the economy and for the country. We are in a, a bit uh, crisis, economic crisis in Brazil. The, 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 the country is not growing as it should, mm -hmm. as its potential. But with and this clean technologies, with solar and other clean tech, it can grow quicker. For sure. It's a, it's a, it's a very good uh, option in order to make the, the, the the country grow again and generating jobs and in a sustainable way. So th this is a, such an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And Anel is trying to review the resolution. It's been reviewed in 2015. So Anel is a uh, regulator, yes? Yes, the uh, regulatory agents of electricity in Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's been reviewed in 2015. Very good revision, now created uh, new different and uh, business models and different structures. So related especially to the uh, remote DG. Yes. Remote DG, yes. And it's a which market, means? Which means uh, the uh, solar plant in, a, in another place, not where is the consumption. Oh. Outside the co consumption can do a solar plant in a, in a field, generate all the energy, inject to the grid and get the compensation, the credits in other uh, consumer, consumption points. So this, is so this was this example that you showed here? Yes. Okay, in summer here? Yes. yes, yes. Where some of the customers with 300 uh, stores, stores. Uh, is uh, using electricity, which is uh, produced by the one big solar plant, uh, let's say in some remote areas. Yes. yes, up to five megawatts. That's mm -hmm. the limit established in the, the resolution, the regulation, and like the chains of stores, of like drug stores, academies, mm -hmm. different. Uh, a business they can uh, generate their, their own energy mm -hmm. uh, in a different place because some some of the places that they don't have mm -hmm. very good roofs so solar is not is not is wouldn't work so the res the resolution the regulation aimed to reach these guys who cannot have solar on the roofs so th that's the main thing that's it's been discussing by Anel and by everyone on the market, on the, on the, the, stakeholders. Center, on the stakeholders, perfect. Mm -hmm. And Anel did a very uh, difficult and very tough proposal to almost cut this remote generation. Mm -hmm. And so that's why the market reacts really strong and we are been yeah. trying to create an, uh, arguments, strong data to show that to Anel and to other, other players, other stakeholders, 
that GG does not affect, as they are saying. It's good for the, the grid, grid, good for the environment, good, good for Rather job creation, yeah, job creation and, and everything. So this is our main objective. We are not making like lobby, it's just getting, get, giving the opportunity to the market to grow and to maintain this amazing growth. I think that uh, we should uh, here congratulate Rodrigo and also Carlos uh, from AppSolar and from ABGD because uh, as we discussed, you know, in Europe the problem was uh, very often that there were different organizations in the country and that everybody was doing, you know, their job separately and here uh, the organizations united and really thumbs up, yes, for for AB Solar, ABG, you're also, doing a very good job together. Yes, and also for all the other, all the other players. players. Yes, yes. I think so this is very important. Yes. I think this opportunity was very good in order to unite the market. Yes, yes. unite the different players, even competitors. We are all together now mm -hmm. for for the growth of the market, for developing. To building that big cake for everybody. Yes, for sure, for sure. This cake is going to be <laughs> amazing big and it's going to be it's gonna have part for everything, for the utility, for for the installers, for the and for, for society. Yes, for society. That, that's the main main objective. Of course, of course, it does need to have to make sense on the economic way, and uh, we we need to discuss this better. Discuss. I think it's more a, a public and a planning energy for the for the country. It's more like a, a planning because it's planning not actually just issue. about the G. It's more about you know the whole the whole paradigm of the, yeah, country. the paradigm of the country. The, the, it's like the planning for for insurance for for energy uh, mm -hmm. and planning for the next years is more a, like a government uh, discussion than a regulatory agency discussion, in my opinion. So now uh, there is a hearing on the seventh November in Brasilia, yes, and then until thirty of. Uh, November, all members of the society actually can submit uh, their opinion about uh, this regulation. Yes. Perfect. Actually, it's been discussed since the beginning of the year. I think the first uh, auction was in uh, on April, mm -hmm. and uh, after that we have we have some some other ones. But our contributions weren't very well analyzed in detail by regulatory agents. And what we are doing is to bring more technical and data in order to show and to show numbers and get yeah, real stuff to, to prove our point. So, so because as uh, we are now recording this you know, interview for the global audience, for the international audience of uh, Solar Business Club, but also other people who are related to clean energy. So what would be you know, your expectation? Because we still have few weeks, yes, eventually. So what uh, would you uh, would be your expectation from the international audience? Uh, the international it audience? would be nice to have numbers from other countries. How does it make, uh, how does it change, how does it grow, grow, grow? and uh, like until w out, uh, which output does the market reach so that it changes like in Europe, uh, in the US and other countries in order we can have this data to, to nice. present to the regulatory agents and to the the other institutions that are working on that. So, so maybe we can ask uh, guys from Global Solar Council, Perfect. from national associations, uh, to send us uh, this kind of information. Sure. Also, yes. This would be really nice because we need really to present data, to present yes. so this technical is, uh, request to Pranav, to Gianni, and also yes. to Rodrigo. Please, Please Rodrigo guys. is also a you know, member of the board of the Global Solar Council. Perfect. Please, guys, it would be amazing to have some information about the other countries, how, how is this happening and how it happened uh, some years ago in order to we can use these cases to, to show the guys that we are just beginning and we have a bright future for, for solar here in Brazil. Uh, what do you think about Solar Business Club, our uh, progress that we did during this year and what would be your advice for the next years? Perfect. Uh, so Solar Business Club is a, an amazing uh, team of great people. Yeah, we are really focused on people, relation human to human. That's how we change the world. So. The, the Solar Business Clubs are a very good opportunity for the top leaders of clean tech companies to discuss and to make business so that we can really change the world. This year was amazing. We have like amazing uh, events. Started in Abu Dhabi, then we came to, to Europe, then Brazil. We did amazing uh, China. China in the snack, during snack. We came to Brazil to, to Intersolar. We did an amazing event here in, in Tangará, in the palace. And we've been growing a lot. I think we've been 
getting it even more strong and then bringing new guys, very good guys, and we invite all you and the girls <laughs> and the girls as well. <laughs> and we invite you, you all, to, to be part of that and to you can indicate good people from other markets to make part so that we can higher the, the, the level of discussion and bring new different views, point of views for, for the market. I think. Yes, and I think uh, that also the, because you know a lot of people they say we should together we are stronger but then they go home and they work separately. But I think that uh, now Brazilian case when ABGD and AppSolar are working together proves that really working together can bring results. Yes. Totally. It totally makes difference and that's the way we, we should always do business and do, do, do things. We are always uh, stronger together, and I think that's the, the, the circuit for, for winning. That's partnership and doing things together. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, uh, muito obrigado. Uh, beleza? <laughs> beleza, you're welcome, Thomas. The pleasure, as always. Thank you so much. That was Cleantech Business TV uh, from headquarters of CITES here in Tapevi uh, with uh, Lucas Troia, who is business director for CITES, but also director of international relationship at Solar Business Club. Thank you so much. Thumbs up for some of